Rebel with Cold Moo. On today's episode, we have three different beers, including a lemon cruller? Chiffon? chiffon? Lemon chiffon cruller ale. And also, our main event is going to be the Sriracha Rogue. To cleanse the palate between the two, we have some uh, Sierra Nevada's Devastation Black IPA. E. Alright, <laughs> let's jump in to the lemon cruller. Ugh. Like, lemon's a good flavor in beer, but... Do we have to? Yeah. Ugh. Do you have to incorporate pastries too? I think I've just suddenly become allergic to chiffon. <laughs> uh, full disclosure, I have had this beer before. Mm. It's not as bad as uh, donut beers have gone, ah. but it's not the best. Cheers. Cheers. Oh God. What is that? I feel like this tastes even more lemony than when I first had it. That is just funky, dude. <laughs> what the fuck is that? The problem is, is that the lemon is not like a good lemon. It's more like lemon pledge. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't taste like a beer. It doesn't taste like a beer at all. This is like really fucking it, it weird. It does have like a weird uh, pastry sweetness at the end of it. It does. Though. It does. It's almost like the, the glaze, the confectioner sugar glaze yeah. that they make. It's the, right up front though. That is just like eating nothing but lemon rind. If I took a whole plate of like uh, lemon meringue pie, just just in its entirety, and I submersed it in dishwater, <laughs> <laughs> that's what this would taste like. It's like dishwater and a lemon pastry, and it there's very 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 uh, slight hints of beer. I don't like that. <laughs> Like, the beer is totally overwhelmed by everything. I feel oh, like it, I the, the flavor is almost, it would be better as, like, a, a liqueur. Like, yeah. take out the beer flavor, make it more of a liqueur thing. That could do something. Oh, yeah, that would... But that would as be... a beer, it's not very pleasant. Uh, four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it about a three. I find this beer more offensive than apartheid. <laughs> <laughs> One and a half. <laughs> this shit is gross. This doesn't. This doesn't qualify as a yeah. beer. I couldn't get drunk off of it. Uh, I'll be happy if I never see it again in my mortal life. <laughs> Devastation Black IPA. This one's coming in at six point seven percent. Lemon was six point eight. Oh, six point eight. And what, what's the? Uh, that six, one's six six seven. seven. You're kidding. I I, I could have swore that the, their torpedo is like higher ABV than this. It might be. Yeah. Well, why call it devastation then? Give me a fucking break. Aren't you devastated right now? <laughs> well, that it's low ABV. <laughs> yeah. <not> point. <laughs> Frost. Frost. <laughs> so clear. Super chocolatey. Mmm. Wow. Whoa. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm. Smoky and chocolatey. What is this? It is very smoky. Nice and roasty. Black IPA, huh? You get a little bit of hop near the end, but it's not like an overbearing sort of bitterness. Mm -hmm. I actually think the level of bitterness from the roasting and the hop are sort of like on par with each other, so they don't really, you don't really get one more than the other. Yeah, I, I, I still get a little bit of a funk there at the end, but it's not terrible. Very easy to drink. It's like a nice satin blanket on my tongue. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of digging this. Like, I wouldn't drink a bunch of it. I'd only have, like, a bottle, and then i move on to something else. But as it is, like, it's kind of nice. It has rich, dark flavors, but they're not so powerful. They're a little understated. <laughs> and, it, and it does provide for a smooth drinking experience. I want to say a 7. Okay. Maybe a 6.9. So I was going to give it a 6. It's solid enough for an IPA. For a dark beer, this has got to get, like, a 7. It's really good. Like... Dark beers normally get really kind of thick, and they, they don't have a lot of carbonation in them normally, uh, like a Guinness. Uh, but this one has a good amount of carbonation. The flavors aren't just kicking you in the, in the teeth. Uh, yeah, seven on that one, yeah. definitely. I like the brightness of the IPA, you know, hitting all that dark beer stuff. And our final beer, <laughs> Rogue Rooster Sauce. Sriracha Hot Stout Beer. That sounds really dirty. Don't shake. <laughs> Rogue's rooster sauce. Who would sauce. think to shake? Yeah, That's what you're supposed to do with your Uh, 5.7% ABV. That's not even enough alcohol to fucking make you like this. this yeah, they don't want great. any of the alcohol, like, <laughs> overruling the flavor of all that delicious sriracha. One of the oh. things that I love about sriracha is the fact that it's so garlicky, and I cannot imagine having garlic in my beer being a good thing. Oh, 
fuck, you know what this smells like? But This is like imitation crab salad. If there's like a pepper in it, a red pepper. It smells like red pepper and imitation crab salad. It's that fucking up. grossing me out. I guess I get a... <laughs> I guess I get a... Yeah! <laughs> it's actually not bad. No. I was expecting way worse. It's, it's very stouty and then like there's a follow-up of spice. Yeah. I'm not getting an overbearing amount of like saltiness or, or a garlic or... Any of the stuff I expect to have in sriracha. Uh -huh. It's actually a lot. Uh, yeah, because the, uh, what was the, were they the arrogant bastard? Uh, oh, you the, mean the crime and punishment yeah, ones? Yeah, like those, those ones. Those are amazing. Like the one was good. The other one wasn't so good. Where this one yeah. was kind of like a happy medium between the two. There's just a light hint of it. With those beers, though, there was the flavor of the chili. You know, that the, the flavor of the chili came through. With this, I taste crab salad mayonnaise and a little <laughs> bit of sriracha like i swear i taste mayonnaise in here and it's it's like grossing me out i'm not getting that i'm just getting shitty uh stout and a little bit of spice at the end of it oh but shitty stout it's rogue stout i guess but oh, yeah. here's the problem with this beer it, it's like uh a b movie that tries to take itself seriously <laughs> it's like uh, uh it's not bad enough to hate to love or love to hate it's not good enough to really enjoy so it's just floating in that middle ground of like why is this even a fucking thing yeah. i don't get enough sriracha out of here to be like oh it's sriracha beer like that's what i want out of this right i don't care how fucking nasty that is i want it to taste like goddamn sriracha yeah i was kind of a little let down by that that's not what we're having a garlic flavor that's what it. we're doing here uh also <clears throat> it's not quite good enough uh, with the spices and stuff that's using to really be like, oh wow, that's amazingly good. Bah. It's just like, heh. Uh, I guess if you're looking for a beer that has a little bit of spice in it, maybe this is a place to start. There's way better beers with spice in them. Yeah. Way better beers. Way better. But I mean, this is like, it's a little bit of spice. Yeah. I guess this, yeah, this would be a good one to get your dick wet as far as that's yeah. concerned. I was just at Seven Seas over the holiday break. Uh, they had a pepper beer. Way better than this. It was a, I forget if it was a stout or whatever, but they, they like, you know, tried to make it good, and it was. So, you can make good pepper beers. This is just a mediocre one. <laughs> this is not one of them. Um, five. Five. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a five. I still can't, it's not going to make me vomit. No fucking way am I giving this a five. <laughs> that shit gets like a two. It is gross. <laughs> it is absolutely gnarly. Like, I get deviled eggs with too much spice. <laughs> That's what I get. I'm not saying it's too spicy. I'm just saying it's too spicy to be like the paprika that goes into deviled eggs. But there is mayonnaise in here. There is some kind of a seafood in here. It's fucking horrendous. Like, getting through this glass is going to be a challenge. <laughs> I guess we've discovered here that even though you're all afraid of it, the black IPA was the best. And I'm going to take a suggestion from a fan. He said uh, to chug the beer that you like the most. So I'm going to get a big old glass here. Anybody yeah. else going to follow me here? No, I'm good. This is a uh, chugging edition of Grabbing with Kilt Mooney. Yeah. So. Chugging dark beers isn't normally my forte, but let's see what let's see how it goes. This has been Grabbing with Kilt Mooney. Thank you for watching. <laughs> That's such a better beer than the other two. It's so much better.